Oh look at this, an October morning, it's just gone 9 o'clock, it's 14 degrees, apparently it's supposed to be hitting about uh, 24, 25 degrees today and tomorrow, so I thought it'd be rude not to go and see our Victo motorway, let's go and have a look at his new bike, his Triumph, I'm going to have a little ride on it, so we'll do a little... Um, a little video, see how it feels. I'm going to be a review, just a little video, have a go on it, see what I think of it. Because those who know Vic know he likes to have a new bike every week. I've never known somebody change their mind so quick with bikes, but he likes his bikes. Why not? Well, it's been a good few weeks since I've um, I've been out on the bike. Weather's been horrendous the last few weeks. I've just been pumping out the Switzerland tour videos. I'm down to the last two episodes now. We're just on our way to the Euro Tunnel to Calais, and then the journey home. So. I do get a bit sad when these tour series come to an end. It takes a lot of work, the editing, but I enjoy it. It only takes me... Mm, depends. Sometimes it's a night, two nights, just to align all the footage up, synchronise all the audio. That'll normally take me a couple of nights easy. And then I'll have a couple of nights of editing. So it's probably averaging three, four days to do an episode, to do a 20 minute half hour episode. But uh, I can't believe I'm coming to the end of it. I've still got the uh, Wales weekend. We did footage to go through. That might, might get a couple of videos out of that. And then we're gonna be in winter. We need to do our winter camp. Right, do we put fuel in? Do we put fuel in? I think we're okay. Right, let's go and see Vic. Let's go and have a go on his new bike. Let's have a coffee. And I'll see you when we get there. Ciao for now. Here we are, the lovely Stoport. I spend a lot of my holidays here as a kid. My nan used to have a caravan. So it used to be me and my cousin standing in my nan's caravan. A week, two weeks at a time. Redstone was the caravan site. I'm sure Raymond watching this, my cousin, he all remember it. My nan used to have a caravan at the back. My mum and dad used to have a two wrap, so did my uncle Tony. But we used to come down for the bits and when my mum and dad used to go back I used to then stay with my nan with my cousin Sean and Ray and we used to go over the caves as well I remember them at the back of the campsite there's always a story that there was a real caveman bones in the in the caves and I'm pretty sure if you walked up the top over the caves carried on walking up, I'm sure. We used to go to a swimming pool up there, an outdoor pool. I don't remember. I've just got memories of us walking with my nan and my granddad to a swimming pool. Right, let's go and have a look at Victo's new bike. Let's have a look at it before we get rid of it and get another one. I don't need to um, approach any manufacturers to do bike reviews. I'll just come in Civic. So every time I come, there's a different bike. Oh, the garage door ain't open. That means you ain't ready for me. Garage door's supposed to be open, Vic. You know the etiquette now. You're supposed to be there waiting with the coffee. Slacking. Yes, like in Vic. Buying all these boxes going to your head. 
Good morning, Vic. I'm good, mate. I was just telling the camera that I don't need to um, approach any manufacturers anymore to do a bike review. I said I'll just come round to Vic's because every time I get there, there's a different bike. <laughs> yeah, <until now. laughs> well, I'm good, mate. Yourself? Well, let's, let's leave my camera on for a bit while we have a look at it. See, I like the back end on that. Oh, I think the back end looks great. Yeah. I've got to say, Vic, the bonnie was nice, but I prefer that. Because I think it's got that little bit of the retro look with a bit of modern touched into it. Yeah. God, it looks looks compact, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. The, uh, the riding position on it took me a bit by surprise. I'd read it was more of a sporty position than the. Are your pegs further back, are they? Yeah. But it's, it's not the position that I mean, compared to how you remember your fire blade. Yeah. Not if you came off a sports bike onto it, you'd probably think you were bolted, right? Compared to, say, the CBF or that. Yeah, so it looks um looks lovely Vic, I love the back end. Yeah, that's that's ideal that is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it just comes off. Like magnets. Crystal. Oh, right. That's a good idea. It's already on, isn't it, there? Well, that's it now, you see. You can now do a punch repair now, yeah, can't you? So, so modifications so far then Vic, so what we done? What's the mod so far? Not much, I put the uh, fender extender on, because you can see how short the mud guards are. Okay, fender extender. I need a gavel by the way, I need a plastic there. Oh yeah, it's aluminium isn't it there? Yeah. Uh, this radiator guard was already on. So it's got a red guard on already, RNG as well. Yeah, some plate was already so you've got a skid plate at the bottom. And the RNG bungs. Crash bungs. There you are. So, yeah, all I've, all I've actually put on it, I've changed the mirrors because I'd already bought those from the other bike. Bar end mirrors. These, I mean, that bar ends before, which were fine, I wouldn't have changed these it's because I already had those. They were on. Yeah. And you've put your. Did you put that on the screen? No, that was already Oh, that was already on? All I've put on is the fender extender and the tail tide. Vic, you've had a tidy up in here? Yeah. Look at this. You can get two bikes in here now, Vic. Yeah, I've took my money to get the second bike. I like that there on the light. That Triumph sign. Little logo. The other one that's actually. Yeah, so with the mods, I mean, I've only done those two. So what engine is it? What size engine is it? Is it 1200 still, yeah? This is the HP, the uh, high power that Bonneville had was at HP. Yeah. I like the cans as well, they look nice. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, about those cans. If I was having a choice now and I was having it brand new and they said, what do you want, the black or the brushed aluminium? I'd have had the brushed aluminium. But I'm not spending six, seven. See, I think they suit it, Vic. Yeah, it's nice metal work, isn't it? The exhaust yeah. looks nice. It's all clean. Yeah, people, a lot of people put those um, Vansenine bikes on, and they're yeah. quite heavy. And they look like they're quite heavy. Yeah. Well, they're not heavy enough to be a bike, but they're heavy enough to be a bike. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Unless you take the cat off the front and put the X-Flow You ain't going to do nothing, am you? Well, that, this sounds great as it is. So I'm going to spend, what is it, six, seven hundred? Yeah. No, it is alright then. Right, we'll have a coffee and then we'll have a go on it. I don't think there's any reason I need to change the voiding mode. It's like rewind the tape, this isn't it, from a few weeks ago. This is the last time you can have another bike to try, by the way. Well, Remember where you heard we'll it first. get this on video. <laughs> so next time I come and see Vic, it might be a completely different bike. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, my proof is that the bank balance won't allow. Yeah. So it's got to be this one. So, uh, good job I like it, isn't yeah, it? I think you've got a keeper here, Vic. I've got to. I think you have, mate. Yeah. Even I've got to stop somewhere. It's got a bit of everything, in it? Yeah, well... The poke in the engine. Well, you wait till you've had a go first. Yeah, you've got <laughs> you, poke you might have a different engine. opinion. I'd imagine it sounds amazing. Well, it's on the stock pipes, of course, so, yeah, pipes. you know, it's... Uh, there's nothing wrong with them, so that good. Remember what I said, you have to feather the clutch a bit when you're going slow, because it's a uh, little bit... Ah, another thing I forgot to tell you. The, the, you'll find it's hard to find the side stand if you want to put it down when you get back, but uh, in city boots it's really hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's hidden behind the uh, thing. But there is a knack to it, but it takes a while to get it. So, what, let's back it up before we started. I'll tell you what, Vic. It feels a lot lighter than the Bonneville. It is lighter. Yeah. It's higher, it's but lighter. You can feel how much higher it is though, can't you? Oh yeah, that's fine. Just that really. Yeah, well you're taller than me, aren't you? I can manage that, so it must be a lot easier that's for you. That seat don't feel hard when you're on it. It's a lot harder than the other one. Feel. I do feel a bit more upright than I did on the Bonneville. The Bonneville well, I don't know. Bit well, it's the other way around. Stretch. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> so the difference is, is the things that it's... Yeah. I, wasn't I wasn't expecting you to say that. See what you think by the time you get back. I'll do the same. When I come back, I'll go up there and turn around. Oh, changing gear was smooth. Change gear on that thing, it's like a shotgun. Oh, yeah, I found it a bit uh, weird then just to um, to find my footing. I'll tell you what, we're going to get this way. Well, I'll see what he thinks of this one. Oh, I've gone into neutral. Right, so the first thing I noticed then, and I think that's just me, is there's quite a bit of a lift to change gear. I didn't lift my foot up. Oh, it feels nice. I don't feel so much forward as I did on the Bonneville, but I feel like it feels like there's nothing in front of me. I suppose I'm used to mine, obviously now I've got this big dash and the big screen. This feels like, it feels like I'm sitting at the front of the bike. Oh, bloody hell, the brakes are good. Gear change is lovely. Clutch is very light. Them are the standard pipes, it sounds lovely. And I noticed just straight away turning that corner of Vicks. I didn't feel like I had to adjust to the bike where the first time I went on that Bonneville, that first corner I took, it um, it took me a bit by surprise. It seemed very, very heavy at the front turning. Yeah, I can flat foot this with both feet. So I'm only five foot nine. I can flat foot this. Tell you what, that seat. 
That suit, that suit is lovely. Oh yeah, the steering on this is, oh what a massive difference. It is more, that is more of a, it's got more of a sport feel uh, with steers. It's very, uh, oh yeah, it's very responsive. God, it takes no effort to turn that. Yeah, that feels very nimble, that does. I'm quite surprised how quick I've adjusted to the, the foot peg position. I've got to say, that screen seems to be working quite well. I've got no buffeting, I can feel a little bit of air under my chin. But I don't feel like I've got a lot of drag on my helmet. What am I doing? I'm doing 35 miles an hour and I'm in fourth gear. And it doesn't seem like it's labouring. Let's get down the gear. Right, seems to have plenty of pickup. What's the engine brake like? Engine braking's quite good. Yeah, that's quite good, that is. You wouldn't need to brake with engine braking that good. And some other bends. Throttle's nice and... Um, nice and responsive. Going over bumps. Suspension feels nice. One thing I've noticed, it doesn't matter what gear you're in, the engine feels the same. Well, sometimes you can normally notice straight away when you're, you're in too high a gear and it's labouring. Sounds lovely. It's not a lot of, um, not a lot of vibration for the bike. But the only thing I've noticed, I don't know if that might be my jeans but I've noticed when I back off the accelerator accelerate off the throttle and the engine braking kicks in or if I brake I've noticed I'm I'm slightly sliding along the seat I'm sliding forward yeah I can feel it there just so I don't know if it's my hands being pushed forward against the bars with the engine braking and braking It's as if my thumbs are being pushed back. But I get that on my cross tour. And my cross tour was upright. The bars are a lot higher, so I still don't know why I'm getting that ache in there. But I have noticed on my cross tour is my grips and the bars, I'm quite thin. So I don't know if it's the pressure against the bar. Because I would have thought you'd be getting it on a bike like this because you're more down on your wrists, but I didn't get it on my VFR and I never got it on my Fireblade. And they were proper, you're down on your wrists. For some reason, I'm getting um, kind of like a bit of a, a. I noticed when we went to Switzerland this year, a bit of cramp there. And I'm feeling the same on this. Very easy at slow speed, very easy. The weight seems well distributed actually, it does seem quite quite low down. Oh okay, yeah, there's the sport mode, right, so rain, road, sport. Oh my god, there's a big difference that in, in a sport mode. That's a, that is a hell of a lot more responsive. That's it, yeah, it's, uh, that's instant pickup, that is. Third gear, it's got a nice bit of pull on it, that has. I've got to say, Vic, it's a lovely bike. And it's been a long time since I've, um, I've been on a bike with a... Your foot pegs are a bit more like that, a bit more race position, where your ankles are actually... I think is that your ankles are in line with your hip. But they don't feel uncomfortable. My, my knees don't feel like they're, they're hooked up. And actually, the engine braking, I don't know whether the sport mode changes the engine braking as well, but the engine braking is not as, it's not as aggressive, actually. That just does feel a bit, a bit normal. I noticed in road mode, it did... Um, did uh, break really well. 
does, it seems very, very light. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Oh, it's nice to get over. Oh god, yeah, that's... You can feel that sport mode difference. Suspension feels lovely. I'm quite surprised actually at um, the wind off the screen. I don't seem to be getting any. I don't know if it's any different on the microphone in my helmet, but I'm, I'm getting hardly any wind noise inside my helmet. So what we'll do, we'll put it in rain mode. Oh yeah, you can feel it. Oh, it's so smooth. You can actually pull that the throttle quite a lot, but it's just really smooth acceleration. That's the only thing with my cross two where there's no there's no modes. It's either go or stop. Right, yes, you can't. Oh you can, yeah. So you can change mode while you're riding. So it's flashing sport, you've got to pull the clutch in. Oh no, it didn't like sport. Oh yeah it has, yep. Lovely Vic, it's lovely mate. I do like it when the exhaust pops. Oh, it's a very manoeuvrable bike. I do, I do struggle on the cross two with that. It's not a um, brilliant stationary. Now you found the stand all right that's then. Lovely. You can change the mode when you're riding. Yeah, but you have to roll off the throttle and hold the clutch yeah, in. Pull the clutch in and up there. Yeah. I put it in sport mode. Did you? Yeah. Oh, the massive difference. You should have had to go up the bypass and yeah. back on oh, it. The traffic up there. Oh, is it? A lot of traffic. Oh, right. Yeah, I went down to the oil and come round it, but uh, yeah, massive difference in the sport mode. Yeah, there is. Yeah. And I've noticed in sport mode, the engine braking's a bit less. Yeah. Intense, Did you notice the throttle a bit more snatchy though in sport? If you're on slow speeds? No, I thought no? fine, yeah. I noticed when I put it into sport mode, obviously I was still thinking I was in road mode, so obviously it was, the yeah. response was a lot, a lot, lot more instant. Yeah. And I put it in rain mode. Did you? Tried it in rain mode. I haven't was, tried it in that one. It was a smooth, yeah, you could yeah. give it loads a bit and it would accelerate. Yeah, but very smooth. Which is the whole idea yeah. of it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. Ray mode is very comfortable. Why actually Ray mode was? I haven't tried it. Yeah, it's very very smooth. I suppose I would have tried it really. Yeah. Just check it out. And even coming off, it's not the engine brakings. It's smooth in Ray mode, so you can see the difference. The modes do. Yeah. 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 Right. Foot pegs were fine. Yeah. yeah. Of course. But I as you said. I can feel yeah, it already. Your thumb, yeah, I've and I was just saying on the camera, that. mine's exactly the same. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's always on that hand as well, yeah. the throttle. Yeah, I don't get it on the left. No, nor me. Yeah, I can't figure it out. But no. mine's exactly the same. And on the NT eleven hundred, it? it was exactly the same. I didn't get it on the CBF. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. No, nor me. Oh well. But I have noticed. I do see when my hands on. My hand seems a bit more. 
like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you, I seem to be pressing in there. I, I wondered and I think if it, my posture was the same. I wondered if it was because the grips were, were quite big. I thought it, that was because I was thin. Thin? Yeah. Because mine, mine I'm like that. But on my VFR, that was quite thick. Because I had the Oxford Eater grips and I didn't I didn't get it on that. I'm just wondering, is, it, mm. is your thumb going around more? I don't know, but it bloody aches. Yeah. You have to yeah. take your hand off just that's to... That's exactly the same, so yeah. Still can't figure out, but it's lovely, Vic. The brakes are amazing on it. Yeah, they're better brakes yeah. than on the, uh, the, only the, thing I the T120. Which, if I brake heavy, or I use a lot of engine braking, I slid forward a bit on the seat. Did you? Yeah. Uh, so I don't know whether it's my jeans, but my mother's... It is quite slippy, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, quite slidey. Clutch feels lovely, mate. It does. And I was getting no, no engine heat off it. No, I, I can feel it a bit on my legs, yeah. but... Uh, now that thing, when that thing gets warm, you can feel it better, Owen. Yeah. Comes through the fins. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, the that is, mate. Right. I prefer the Royd of that to the Bonneville. You do? Yeah, yeah. I thought that rode better. Yeah. I felt, more, I felt a bit more... It's a lot nicer going into the bends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You landlord. It was like a sports bike on yeah. the bends. Yeah. It is towards that, yeah. isn't it? It's... I want to went around the island... It just it went over easy. Yeah. It went over easy. It was. Right, I'll switch this off then. So for this week, for this bike, that's a thumbs up. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we have next week. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it did. It felt, felt lovely. Well, that was it, I thought. Now I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do I it said, again. I said, oh, he's having that much fun. He's going round again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did I come round the block then? I thought, I want to keep going. I'll just what now I'll yeah. carry on. <laughs> I sometimes get near it and I think, ah, oh, sod, I'm not ready yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go off somewhere else. See, I reckon with this thick, if this seat was thinner, yeah. I'd be able to get my foot down more. Well, you're not far off, are yeah. you? It's just, you just need enough to push the weight nah. if I'm going uphill. How heavy is this bike? 269. 269. That's one it's nine. heavier than a GS. That's 196, yeah. that is. Heavier than a GS, this is. Yeah. And the weight, so it's like an Africa twin. The weight's all high on it. Yeah. That's the only complaint with these people have is the weight. I say it's the weight. That'd be too much for me. Then. But this bit will be fine as long as I get a bit of a. It's a bit. Right if you get your feet there. Yeah. Like I say, if you change that seat, you probably could. Yeah. So if I get a bit of, a bit of, a bit of momentum. That's it. See, if I've got momentum, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, thanks. See you later. Bye bye. I'm going, to, I'm going to test this thumb out on the way back. Yeah. See you later. Well, there we go. A lovely little ride on Vic's bike. I enjoyed that. I way prefer that to the Bonneville. Bonneville was a nice bike, but it's to me it seemed the Bonneville was more about the look of the bike. I think that twin was a bit more uh, rider friendly. It handled better on the roads. Lovely suspension. But good to see you, Vic. Another one of our coffee mornings again. Right, let's go home. We'll see you on the next one. Oosh.